This is a brief demonstration of the Optical Network Atlas, a Globema, module, a Globema extension module for physical network inventory. The Optical Network Atlas, as its name implies, is a set of tools uh, for generation of uh, schematic diagrams for, of the optical network. Uh, what we see here uh, is a main window of the Optical Network Atlas module that is integrated within the PNI uh, application environment. Uh, currently, we are viewing uh, the mm, general overview schematic that presents the high-level uh, high-level view of the net of the optical network. What we see here, we see the locations and the cables uh, connecting these locations. So on the uh, with the green background there are buildings and with the white background there are optical splices and now what we can see is the mm, is just the uh, cable level we do not see individual fibers on this on this diagram we see the high level overview uh, information. Uh, each location each location has its name and the cables are have their names and their lands and their specifications. We can use standard small world tools to navigate through this diagram and uh, we can see additional details uh, presented on the schematic. So once we select one of those buildings we can we can see additional details of the schematic here. <coughs> uh, now we see uh, the internals of the building. So within this diagram you can see how the cables are laid out uh, in a schematic way, how the, how the cables are laid out uh, within the single, uh, within the building. So now you can see that there is a cable coming, uh, coming from the outside that is terminated on the LDF and you can see the patch cords that are that interconnect uh, the ODFs with uh, another ODF or with the with some active device. We can still drill down so we can enter inside you can see how the ODF connections are mm, made. Uh, this is a representation of the optical distribution frame and in this uh, in this diagram you now you start to see individual fibers so here are the ports of the optical distribution frame and you can see how they are connected on one side and on the other side so here on the left side we can see that there is a device connected in within the same location we can see the details of, of, of this device and the actual ports that are connected to these uh, ODF ports and on the other side we have the Actually, we have the cable that is going outside and this information is thread through the cable. So this is the final destination of, uh, of the individual fibers. So now the ONA module employs the uh, tracing uh, to find out what is the, at the other end of the, of the cable. And now we can see that this is a 61 kilometer cable that goes to a, to a different location and terminates at, at, at this particular uh, device. We can get back to the uh, to the schematic, and we can see uh, how the information is presented uh, for the optical splices. So now we select the optical splice, and we can go to the specific page uh, of the diagram uh, presenting this optical splice. So now, when we when we look at the optical splice, it again presents us a fiber level detailed schematic of the connections that are made in the uh, in this optical splice. This information that is presented here is generated automatically based on connectivity information that is entered into the PNI module. So there is no additional there is no need to enter any additional information into PNI. What you enter into PNI will be represented here uh, as a gra graphical representation of the connections made within the splice. <clears throat> Here again you can see the cables. This is one cable, this is another cable, and the basic parameters of this, of this cable, like the final location of the cable, like its name and specification. And now you can see the individual fibers. Here they are grouped if there is a group of fibers that is routed uh, in the same way uh, they can be represented on a schematic as a set of different uh, lines, but as here, to make this diagram more neat, it's, uh, it's easier to see those, those uh, fibers groups. So here we see the group of three fibers, uh, uh, and this is, the, this is the length to, the, to, the, to this final location of this, uh, of this group of fibers. 
we can get back <coughs> again to the to the overview uh, this uh, since the optical network atlas is integrated with pni it can be uh, it's, we, you can navigate between the optical network atlas window and the uh, physical network inventor window so we can we can look at this uh, physical inventor window and we can perform basic operations like go to or highlight so we can <coughs> just select the select the optical splice and it's uh, automatically out the map navigation uh, in the physical network inventory follows uh, follows the information from the ONA and in a similar way we can also highlight this information in the uh, uh, in the in PNI there is also a possibility to edit the subject so we can either use the floating editor or edit using the editor embedded within PNI so we can navigate here and we can now see that this is the uh, this is the building that we have selected in the uh, optical network diagram. Uh, this is the basic functionality of the uh, optical network atlas. Thank you for watching.